go to Shangri-La, big chases, big action, gun battles, treks to the Himalayas, Yeti, big stuff. It's just kicking off now. All hell's going to break loose soon. We're at the uh, gateway of Shangri-La, which is uh, the sort of stopping off point for our heroes. Uh, they're trying to stop the, uh, the emperor from getting to the pool of eternal life. And it's pretty amazing to be here on this location in Montreal, pretending to be the Himalayas. Because when you get out there on that set, it's extremely convincing. It's amazing movie magic. To see the Himalayas, the way that we built the Himalayas and the bridge, you couldn't believe the magnificence and the grandeur of these sets. Well, it's our first day in the gateway set, so I'm very eager to get it on film. Got two full units going. That's my favorite thing. So the mummy, 24 hours a day right now. Somewhere in the world, Mummy 3 is being made. That I like. Here, check out the Russian PPS-43 purse salt weapon. We're setting up a kind of a complex uh, blocking-wise sequence with gunfire and everything. It's going to be pretty cool. Other than refining it now, I think the blocking works. I think we should try it. We have uh, four actors, four guns, uh, 50 rounds in Brandon's, 25 rounds in uh, Luke's seven rounds in Maria, and six in Jonathan's. It's just gonna go bang all over the place. As a kid, I've always wanted to shoot a gun, and you know, I've always wanted to blow things up. So, yeah, it's, it's, you know, for me, this is like what I dreamed of as a kid, you know, and I love it, you know? I hold a lot of responsibility to make sure that we make everything thrilling without hurting or killing anyone. Avalanche! Vic Armstrong, he's just one of those guys who knows how to gaff it so that it can be done and be safe. I would light them in there and up the stairs when they go hot. And when they're hot and everything's good, then they walk down into position, which means that's not going to go off accidentally. Vic Armstrong is one of the most manly men I've ever met in my life. He was built to be an adventurer and an action guy. He knows the mentality of what it means to be a stuntman, and that is not just to be an adrenaline junkie. It is to give a performance and to do it safely. And that's why he's running the action unit on this picture. Action! Today is the first of our sort of big action moments. This is where Yang and the Emperor attack Shangri-La and blow the pillars down. Welcome! Hey, We've got seven cameras. I've got three stunt doubles on the stairs to run up the stairs. And we're CG, Brendan Fraser and Luke Ford in because their positions are very dangerous. I guess it's against SAG rules to crush actors with uh, large columns, so pixels to the rescue. The explosion, however, is entirely real. So we're detonating the columns with a uh, substance called Primacord. The columns should fall, but just to help it is these, uh, are these two forklifts that are going to pull out the top portions of it. The whole thing is coming down. bring the real actors over and we'll drop the debris boxes and choreograph a sequence where the actors appear to be running through these falling columns. For Brendan, we have a whole rig of fake rocks and uh, fake columns, pieces dropping in front of Brendan as he's making his way all the way to the, uh, the up the stairs. So it's quite, quite exciting for him, but it's a good shot. It's all creating an illusion, and I think this this has been a very successful illusion. That was fun. All right, so far, but we're still a long way from getting out of here. So this is the second phase of the gateway sequence. We've already come across the bridge and done the shootout with Yang's men there. They're now forced further up 
to the courtyard, which is this set. We got five heroes in here. And each one has a separate event going on with them. Lynn is doing something with the Yeti, and Alex is fighting and protecting Lynn, and Evie is being Annie Oakley. And lots of things are happening. You don't have to take a step that far forward, just a half step. Bang. Mark and the boys have all been rehearsing like crazy when they can get on the set. So it's quite a busy little uh, two weeks here for all the stunt crew. We're rehearsing a, a sequence where Lynn, one of the heroines, jumps off the roof to kill the, uh, the Emperor Mummy. And in mid-air, as she's diving towards him with a dagger, he deflects her and hits her down towards the ground. Right now I'm just, yeah, waiting in here. So I'm very excited. I just feel like a butterfly. It's really cool to have the actor doing that because uh, that's what we want to see. We want to see their face uh, getting hurt. And it's cool to get a guy like Brendan because he can do it all. You want to do it again? <laughs> this one, he's running away from the emperor throwing a, uh, a fireball at him. So we'll have a airburst uh, simulating the uh, the fireball and send him into the foam rocks he came down the wall and that was so perfect who could expect that we're about to do a piece where the uh, yeti arrive and start killing yang's men the yeti for sure are my favorite and i had no idea what they actually looked like we were looking at a green tennis ball the whole time for the Yeti, looking at them. When you get them, do it with your eyes. Don't You don't need to move your head. He's moving, but you're just doing it in here. We've got some big throws for Yang's men to be picked up by Yetis. The Yeti is about to kick, uh, kick me and then end up on top of the gate. I'm falling down after that. <laughs> Interesting ride. The running, jumping, diving, shooting has been exciting. And uh, the acting has been terrific. Some good humor from John Hanna. I get really terrified coming into work every day, what the hell's going to happen and stuff. You know, there was a scene the other day, I came in and I had like two words. And I was like, oh, great, two words, nice, easy scene, just right at the end, you know? And then the way it was set up, it was quite tough, actually. Action! It's been quite challenging. I love these big special f***ing FX movies, you know? I feel like a lugworm. Oh. Well done. Oh, that's well glamorous. Done. I've liked what's happened here for the actors. They got a chance to really kick it out. And of course, this is a test. When given a chance to kick it out, we'll kick big. Production is the scope and size of this one. This movie's huge. I mean, it's a big, big production, but we're here to do a kick ass good job and have a great time doing it. Another day at the office here. Another day at the office.